So we're back in base. I came back from Costa Rica last week. Uh, it was incredible. It was raining a lot. There were some floods, not where I was, but close by. Uh, but still, the country has so many to offer. If you haven't been to Costa Rica before, I highly suggest that you should check it out. Uh, the people are amazing, the food is amazing, uh, you're just gonna come back so much more relaxed. Hi guys and welcome to the channel. If this is your first time to the channel, we're talking about credit cards, points, finances and travel. If this is something that interests you, please like this video, subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I will get back to you as soon as I can. On this note, I was talking to Chase Yokohama. Uh, if you don't know Chase, he has a YouTube channel, he's talking about credit cards and finances as well. But he talks about these subjects on a very uh, fun way. So it makes something hard to digest, sometimes very digestible. He's like the Coca-Cola of uh, financial videos. Chase uh, brought to my attention that um, one of my comments on his videos uh, disappeared. He thought maybe I deleted it, so he emailed me. I was very surprised to hear that. He's like, did you delete this uh, message? And I said, no, I didn't. I, I, why would I? Um, he says, nothing, but I try to answer to your comment and I can't. And it came to my mind that many times I see comments from you guys uh, and when I try to open them so, so I can answer, uh, they're gone. I just want to make sure that if this happened to your comment before, know that I haven't ever uh, deleted the comment, uh, even even bad comments. Uh, I leave all comments there. Um, I always answer to your comments. So if this happened to one of your comments, know that it's, I guess, a glitch uh, on YouTube algorithm on, uh, or the platform. Uh, so I'm not sure why this happens because uh, it has happened a few times uh, with your comments. I Every time I thought it was you guys that decided to uh, take the comment down for whatever reason, but I never take your comments down and I always try to answer to all of them. So that's that. I will leave a link to Chase's uh, channel down. Uh, he's an amazing guy and uh, his videos are very useful. So I started going back to the office and I realized I spent a lot of money in gas. I forgot how much money I spent on gas because I have been working from home for almost a year. And now that it's mandatory that we go back to the office, it's just killing me. I, every time I go to the pump, I, I, I'm looking at my Chase uh, credit cards, uh, the Freedom Flex specifically, to see if I'm on gas uh, quarter. Uh, but this quarter, for example, is only grocery stores. As good as this credit card is, the Freedom Flex is changing categories every quarter and gas is something I always need. I love going outside, I, I go to the woods, uh, I drive to see friends, I drive to work, so I drive everywhere. So getting that one and a half to two X uh, back uh, from my credit cards is not enough. What's the best solution? The best solution I think is the City Custom Cash. Um, you can mold that credit card uh, to whatever you want basically. So if you want to mold it to a restaurant credit card, you can just charge whatever charges you have on restaurants to it and then it's gonna apply that 5% uh, to the charges. Uh, if you want it to be a gas credit card, you can just use it for gas and you can make sure that that 5X will apply uh, to your gas uh, bill. It's the best credit card for gas in my opinion, but the premier right now uh, from City has 80,000 points. 80,000 points, I believe, is the highest it ever got. This credit card, the previous best was 60,000. So it's a lot. And this is the main reason why I applied to it yesterday. So let's see how the City credit cards are looking nowadays and if it's worth it to have a full trifecta of it. So we see that uh, after the arrival of the custom cash with the 5X, uh, the city trifecta has been really incredible. Um, we have the double cash, that's 2x on everything. Um, that's better than Chase that has only 1.5 with the unlimited. Um, 5x on different categories every month and it's not rotating like the flex. So whatever you decide you spend more this month and you charge it on this credit card, this is where the money is going, where the uh, multiplier is going on the premier 
3x on restaurants, groceries, gas, air and travel, hotels. I mean, guys, this setup is incredible. It equally competes with American Express and Chase. And depending on what you value more, uh, this might be the best because I love my American Express uh, trifecta and I'm not planning to get rid of it anytime soon. But I have to admit that if I wasn't interested so much in air travel and the experience in the lounges and uh, the hotel upgrades and all these good things that the Platinum offers, for example, I would seriously uh, consider have the full trifecta by city. 27.3 average cash return with this trifecta uh, for cash and uh, 32.4 for travel. Uh, incredible first year returns. And on the second year, we have 3.3 uh, for cash and 4% for travel. Um, again, 4% average. So yeah, it's, it's, it's up there. That being said, which credit card did I get? I got the Premier for the 80,000 sign up bonus. Why? Because this is a historic high. 80,000 points is the maximum I've ever seen this credit card. $800 is the value, the cash value for it. And as much as I like the custom cash, I know that that offer is going to stay there. This is like the $200 is nothing that is out of the ordinary. Uh, so I know it's gonna stay and $750 spend is easy to hit at any moment. So my strategy with City is to get the highest sign up bonus right now as it's available. And then once I'm done with it, I'm gonna get the custom cash. Now, if I have already the American Express trifecta and I have the Chase trifecta, why do I need um, the City credit cards? Of course, it's for the sign-up bonus, first of all. But then even if I decide not to keep uh, the Premier, I know I'm going to keep the custom cash because I'm going to use it for gas. So I want to make sure I get 5x whatever I can. So 5x on this and the Premier is going to be used for the sign-up bonus for sure. And we will see how it goes with my spending because, guys, honestly, all these credit cards are amazing, but you cannot have all of them. If you continue spreading your spend to a bunch of different um, systems, then you're not gonna be able to use effectively those points. It's gonna take you years until you have a few thousand points to make a trip. But why do I need these points? I have already a bunch of points uh, in my American Express account that I'm gonna use for the trip in Greece uh, in October. Um, I already have a bunch of uh, Southwest points, for example. Um, and I am building up again my chase points. But the one thing with City is that the, the cash value of their points is very close to travel value. So even though every time I advise you guys to use your points towards travel because that's where the value is and the typical uh, return for a, a Chase points or American Express is 1.5 cents per point. So that's why I advise you to strongly advise you to use them for travel. With City, that's not the case. City points are 1.1, 1.2 maximum in a very good scenario. And it's very fair to say that it's about the same. Cash with travel is about the same. So since lately I bought something that is not really a very smart purchase, another watch that I'm not gonna show you because my wife is gonna kill me. Uh, I want to make up for the spending I did. So I thought that the sign up bonus is the best way to make it up so I don't have to uh, explain myself too much. Yeah, baby, if you're watching this. Between the Premier and the Custom Cash, we're talking $1,000. We uh, take out the 95 annual fee. So we have $905 uh, just for spending money that you would already spend. And guys, uh, this is very important because many of us here uh, are trying to get a good deal but at the same time, we cannot hit the minimum spend. In that case, you shouldn't do it. I pay really high rent uh, where I live. Uh, so for me, it's the easiest thing to do. That's why I'm getting all these credit cards. 
I might as well get a sign-up bonus if I'm paying rent every month uh, and I pay school and work pays for school but I pay first so yeah they reimburse the money and I get the points so I have a lot of expenditure I also think it's the best way to buy stupid stuff uh, using sign-up bonuses because it's not money that you work for uh, honestly yes it's money that you could have and you could invest and I have done that in the past so I invest a lot of it in crypto um, I lost all the gains honestly um, but I was able to not panic uh, and not do anything crazy because it was all money I got from sign up bonuses uh, and this is what I'm doing with stupid purchases like watches or whatever else might be and I believe that you should do the same if you're planning to buy something out of the ordinary like a fancy pair of shoes a bag if you're a lady or a guy you like you're into bags um, or a computer or an iPhone or whatever that is use your sign up bonus don't spend your hardened cash uh, on it many of you go to Verizon for example and you get uh, a $200 uh, dollar, uh, monthly uh, contract to get the newest uh, iPhone uh, you could easily use your points with Chase for example and get 25% off uh, whenever that offer comes it has come up twice this year already um, so you could really like save 25% off and use whatever uh, provider gives you the best deal you know instead of paying high uh, fees monthly just to have a nice phone so there are many other ways because yeah it's good to be financially responsible uh, but you also need to live you also need to have the good things in life because uh, why not in the end of the day we're working for it but I also believe that we need to be smart on how we do things and using sign up bonus to buy stupid stuff uh, that you would buy anyway uh, yeah I think it's the best way to go about it uh, let me know what you guys think. Have you ever used your sign-up bonus to buy things instead of uh, using it for travel? And what do you think about uh, City? Especially when it comes to cash back, I think right now City is one of the hottest thing in the market. Um, and because uh, the travel value is not that much greater as it would be with Chase or American Express, I think it's okay to use them for cash. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, ciao.